Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have mentioned previously, Google is ending support for third-party cookies in the Chrome web browser. And third-party cookies and the tracking by third-party cookies is being replaced with a feature called Privacy Sandbox, which is still in preview and still in beta. And in case you're unaware, to get to the new Privacy Sandbox feature in the Chrome web browser for desktop, we head to our main menu, click on Settings, navigate over to Privacy and Security, and the feature can be found Privacy Sandbox at the bottom of the page. Now, I have posted um, quite some time ago um, quite a few videos regarding the Privacy Sandbox. So if you want more in-depth info regarding this feature, just do a search for Privacy Sandbox on the channel. But just a quick recap. Basically, what this feature is doing is it's moving you and uh, the tracking of you as an individual from an individual, and it's placing you into a group of users who have similar interests. So basically, it can't track you with this feature turned on. It can't track you as an individual, but um, it puts you in a group of users with similar interests. So basically, its main purpose is tracking and use for advertising. So uh, Google and the browser can send you advertisements according to the group's interests and not as an individual. So basically, it just um, removes tracking from individual users to groups. So that's basically what the feature is all about in a nutshell. Now, because of this, if you are concerned about your privacy and you want to turn off these features to improve your privacy in Google Chrome, just a quick video to show you how you can do that. And it goes without saying that obviously this feature, which I actually think is turned on by default in Google Chrome, is still in beta, so it's still in preview, and it's a trial. But nonetheless, if you want to... Um, decrease the amount of uh, so-called personalized ads you are getting, then what you can do is you can just toggle this feature off because two of the features mentioned for Privacy Sandbox mention ads, browser-based ad personalization and ad measurement. So basically, at the end of the day, it goes without saying, if this is turned on, just toggle the feature off and then that will remove you from those Privacy Sandbox features. Now, something else you can also do if you are concerned about privacy, is we can just head back to our settings. And this time we head over and navigate to site settings. We scroll down till we get content, cookies, and site data. Click on that. And what I would suggest is, um, I think by default, block third-party cookies in incognito is turned on in Google Chrome. What I would suggest is click on block third-party cookies so um, what this will do is you can see here it says sites can't use cookies to see your browsing activity across different sites for example to personalize ads so there once again ads is mentioned um, features on some sites may not work so in most cases these changes as i'm showing you today in this video shouldn't cause compatibility issues but if you do notice that you can't sign into a site anymore or are signed out regularly from a certain site you may need to add specific sites to the allow list, which you can do by heading down to the bottom. And as you can see, you just click on add and you can add a site, um, add a specific site um, to the allow list. So if you are experiencing an issue, then you can just add a site to that list, but change it from whatever other option to block third party cookies. And um, while this won't um, reduce the number of ads you see on the internet, it will reduce personalized ads dramatically. So basically it goes without saying, when you turn off these features, Privacy Sandbox, and you turn on Block Third Party Cookies, what it'll do at the end of the day is um, Chrome and advertisers can't track you anymore using this new system and those new systems, as obviously they are turned off, and sites won't be able to track you using cookies either anymore. So I hope you found this useful. And that's just a quick video to show you how you can increase to some extent or the other your privacy and prevent Google and the Chrome web browser from sending you those personalized ads. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.